during the last few days that Bradfield History TV have been working with the staff and the volunteers at Bacon Park, it's become apparent that the bomb is the crown jewels of what's been going on here. Tony, can you explain to us about this magnificent reconstruction? Well, it is now the only working bomb in the world. Uh, it all started around about 1995 when a group of engineers under the direction of John Harper decided it would be nice to have a, a working machine. We asked GCHQ if they had any blueprints uh, and they came up with a, a box with about 4,000 documents. Uh, this, if you can imagine, a uh, dozen jigsaws all in one box with bits missing and no picture, that's the sort of thing we got. We sifted through and found there were no uh, assembly drawings, very little in the way of wiring diagrams, and when you consider there's 12 miles of wire in this, that was a problem. So it took them uh, about two years working on CAD machines to actually come up with some working documents, and then another 10 years to build this. Now you might think 10 years is a long period, but um, if you can imagine in the 1940s, this was made from uh, the sort of parts that were available from the telephone exchange uh, exchanges. And there was a war on, of course. And there was. There was nothing like a war for speeding things up. They were actually producing these about half a dozen every fortnight. But of course, in 1995, telephone exchanges have gone digital. So none of those parts were available. So we had to start with building jigs and fixtures and wiring uh, relays by hand. A lot of these engineers working at home in their sheds at the bottom of the garden. And hence, uh, altogether, 12 years' work to put but, this together. But, but you're a absolutely sure, you're telling me and, and everybody watching this now, that this is actually a work, it's not just, just uh, the dials, it's no. actually a working model. It actually does find the key of the day. Right, so we can hear the motors running. Yes. Do you want um, to actually switch our bomb rebuild on now? I will, I will. Thank you. When you were fairly sure you got it all right, this was the big Absolutely. moment when you switched on. Go. Here we go. We have a good relationship with GCHQ. Uh, unfortunately, every now and again, they send us encoded messages on their Enigma machine and challenge us to break it. We have actually done 16 challenges up to date, and the score is Bletchley Park rebuild. Team 16, GCHQ nil. Fantastic. And what about my emails? Are they going through here? Your emails? Yes. <laughs> uh, well, it's not up to that. It's not up to that. In fact, it, if it could break the, uh, uh, the national lottery each weekend, um, we, we, we wouldn't be here now. That would be fantastic. <laughs> we've, we've thought about it, but it doesn't, doesn't do that. It'll only do one job. Fantastic That's dedication, good. and what a magnificent thing to come and see here at Bletchley. But we're not talking about just, just the front, this is the real thing. It is. Many thanks, Tony. The only one.